Welcome back to my channel. I have a guest. Come on in. <laughs> a guest that you guys oh, have. My uh, handwritten uh, notes. It's usual. I'm not so young anymore. Hello. This is my neighbor. The neighbor that I always refer to as my neighbor. Neighbor Stefan. Yeah, that's me. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my first impressions on Dusk Diver, which I'm playing on the PlayStation 5. And you will give us three underrated hidden gems that you can find and play on the PlayStation. PlayStation 4 for your case, I mean. Yeah. You don't even have a PlayStation 5 yet. No. Do you want one? Well, actually I do, because it's so fast. Yeah, I know it's so fast, yeah. but it's so ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's uh, quite disgusting. Okay, so Dusk Diver 2, it came out like almost a year ago, but I haven't gotten around to play it before now. On the PlayStation 5, I got a review called from ID Factory. Uh, I played the first game, and now they have given out, I mean, a year ago. I'm so late to the party. So the story, it is a continuation from what you did in Dusk Diver 1, where you play as this girl who works at this door, and in night times, she dives into the dusk through these dimensional rifts fissures, and she brawls away to help the world be a world, basically. That's a terrible explanation of the story. Yeah, you, you're <laughs> just gonna have to show me that game after, yeah. uh, after this video. So the city that you play in, it is based on Taipei in Taiwan, and walking around the streets there, very fun. So the gameplay, it is a brawler action RPG where you have a lot of skills and you can level up your characters, which you can also change between. It's a brawler game, and you know what a brawler is? Uh, <laughs> to me, it sounds like wrestling, but uh, or uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, well, it's basically yeah. a hack and slash with your fists. Well, it sounds like fun. Yeah, you just have to show me. Uh -huh. so. And a couple of characters that you get later on in the game, they are long-ranged characters, so you also have a bit of bounce. Now, the graphics, the actual little portraits when you're talking to characters, super pretty. That is just so up my alley. If you guys know me, I love my anime-style games. You always comment on my videos and you say, that looks like... A very Chikan kind of game. Yeah, every single video. Well, what I mean by Chikan is, it's um, yeah, it's uh, it's like very childish and very, <laughs> well, Chikan. You like yeah. more mature looking games. Uh, yeah. It has RPG elements where you can level up into individual. All those regulars that's, that we know yeah, from you can uh, games like Final Fantasy. Yeah, you stuff. can level up within stats that you yeah. wanna do. <laughs> Wanna yeah. have. Yeah. <laughs> so excellent. Around the town there are a lot of food stalls and stuff like that. Now, this game is hard. I died several times yesterday when I was playing this game. Take it like a challenge, you mm -hmm. know. I was on the phone with you yesterday and I was yeah. like, ah, this boss. So they are very damaged. Like li live the repeat, live the repeat. They're like damaged sponges, some of them. I have heard that this game performs terribly on the Switch. So actually, from what I heard from Switch Watch, it is terrible on the Switch. Don't get it on the Switch. I'm playing on the PlayStation 5 and I think it is a decent game, but I would still say this is a wait for sale because I don't view it as a full price type of game. It's a game, it's fun, it has its moments, but it also has its flaws. So wait for a sale. But I want to say, as a closure to that, that I find it to be a big improvement over Dusk Diver 1 that I played oh, so many years it's ago. A, it's a sequel. Yeah, yeah it's a sequel. Yeah. They improved on almost everything. So that was my first little uh, PlayStation hidden gem, whatever, underrated game. It's not a very commercially <laughs> big game, whatever. So what are your games? Well, can I uh, start with uh, my complaints? Oh, you want to complain? He I want to complain. I want to complain. Yeah. I want to complain. Uh, and I want to complain about uh, the trophy achievements on uh, PS4 and PS5 because um, I really hate when you have like online trophies. Oh yeah, we are trophy hunting on the PlayStation. Yeah, definitely. So, and some of the trophies are locked behind doing something multiplayer online. And yeah, something multiplayer based, and that really fucking annoys me because I think you should have that separately, the online stuff and multiplayer stuff. You want the platinum trophy to be exclusive. Dead. No way. <laughs> Exclusive for uh, single player only. Yes, that's that's, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Because, because uh, you have some trophies. Well, uh, that you can never get because the servers are down. Yeah. Which uh, game was that? It's like, uh, I don't remember, but one of these games I have uh, like uh, 95% and the last 5% are multiplayer. Which the servers are down The at. servers are down, so I will never get that trophy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's terrible. <laughs> so, that's terrible. Well, uh, and also I have to complain about uh, Drift. Oh, god damn, I hate Drift. In my PS4 controller, I have four PS4 controllers. I know, you and, have a bunch. Uh, and two of them have Drift. And uh, all of my Joy-Cons for Switch have Drift. 
I only had Drift once in a Joy-Con. That was terrible. The first edition Joy-Con, like the 2017 launch edition. God damn, I terrible. hate Drift. Yeah. I hate Drift. <laughs> but I have never had that in a PlayStation controller. I think they're really good. Like, overall really good. Yeah. Except from that, I'm playing uh, God of War Ragnarok. Uh, yeah, you are. In, what uh, do you think? I love, um, I love my God of War. Oh um, yeah, check out my video on it, everyone. It's always good to um, play as Kratos and Atreus. So, I um, gave that to you, actually. Yeah, you did. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I'm a generous neighbor. Yeah, I'm also playing Savage Moon. That's a tower defense game from um, 2008. It's on the PS4 Classic Savage catalog. Savage Moon? Savage Moon. Nice. Yeah. On PlayStation 3? Uh, on PS3, but um, on PS4 and 5 on the Classic catalog. So what do you do in the game? Well, um, it's a tower defense game, so uh, you uh, defend your base against uh, incoming alien attacks, basically. That's the best way I can uh, describe the game. What makes it fun? It's like, uh, the thing that makes it really fun is that you can make your own strategy. So, it's like you are placing towers here and here and here and uh, you see the route where the aliens are walking and you just place towers and defend. So. Wow. So you feel like that is a hidden gem? Absolutely. And uh, I'm also playing Axiom Verge 2. Love that game. It's um, a lot more easy than uh, than the first Axiom Verge. Came out in 2021. It's a 2D indie developed Metroidvania created by one man, I guess. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you said. one man behind uh, both the music. Album. Yeah. And I saw it at your place, and I gotta say, the music is out of this world. Yeah, the music is absolutely fantastic. It's uh, everything I want uh, in a game. So. Yeah, and you are addicted to it. It's everything that you play. Yeah. You're Absolutely. like, I'm playing Axiom well, Verge it's not, 2. Well, it's Axiom Verge 2 mostly, and it's uh, Smurfs uh, Mission Waylift. Oh, yeah. That also came out in 2021. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, I recommended it to everyone. It's so much fun. I think this is like the fifth video where well, I'm Well, the trophies are not fun in that game. It's just Smurfs. a chore, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're trophy hunting now. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the only thing I have left is to uh, complete the game on uh, hard difficulty. Mm -hmm. so, okay, now. now drink this. Yeah! Faris. And, and I have the best cup, Assassin's Creed Origins. No, place. I have the best cup because it's toad. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not really toad, it's mushroom. <laughs> mushroom! <laughs> it's. <laughs> say. <laughs> it's very good. Snorri is like, what the f are they doing? <laughs> Humans. I love Snorri. Yeah, me too. Snorri is my baby brother. Snorri is so big. He's so big. God damn it. I remember I could have him in the palm of my hand. And now it's like. It's huge! I know, I know. It's God ridiculous. damn, what are you feeding that cat? <laughs> Testosterone? Mm -hmm. Steroids? Definitely. He's hunting birds already. Okay, so that were some hidden gems that we consider everyone to check out. And your obsession with Axiom Verge is so crazy right now. I have to say, on uh, Axiom Verge too, I have uh, completed uh, the map 100%, but I don't have 100% items. So. <laughs> You're such a sweaty gamer. Yeah, I'm a sweaty gamer. Mm -hmm. Leave down below your suggestions for PlayStation games that are sort of under the radar, sort of hidden gems, sort of underrated. We are loving those types of games. We need to know about that. Well, it's There's like so a, many games. I, I only play uh, underrated games. Yeah, like no. hidden, hidden, hidden games yeah. that no one seemingly is talking about sort yeah. of thing. Me too. I'm living for that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so anti-mainstream that I am main, main Mainstream, anti mainstream. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I have some greetings. I want to say uh, hello to Vernon Schlaten and Vengeance early. We want to say hi to you guys. Hey, hey. We got to talk soon on PlayStation Party. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Thank you, neighbor Stefan, for yeah. being here. Yeah. And we will see you later. Later. Wave. wave. Tell them to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thank God for editing. Well, I'd have... Uh, <laughs> Shut up, did I not? <laughs>